ready one shot. Why did I say yes? Huh? <laughs> Why did I say yes to this thing? Uh, So we are on our way to our first night hike to the uh, most eastern part of the island to watch the sunrise. So looks like we are the first ones here. There's one other car that came behind us. So looks like a couple of people have that gorgeous idea to get up early and hike in the dark. So after a couple of stairs, there's now like a wooden bridge with more stairs. And we have like a, a clear sky with all the stars. The camera doesn't catch it, but it's gorgeous. seem to be in the right way. And it's really windy. But it's kind of a warm wind, so it's nice. That's like climbing here. Wow. wow that's a, a spot, but yeah. You can see the sun is slowly rising. We can see a little bit already the ocean and Oh, nice. I'm sure it, during the uh, day with the light must be epic. It's gorgeous. Here we are. Getting light already, slowly. Approaching the Pico. That's the Pico.
flashlight. We can now go to dark tunnels. <laughs> So here you go, you can uh, combine a couple of things here. So I think our car is there. We'll see. I mean, in the dark. Yeah, but it was not that bad. So, but now we can see actually where we walk. So, and on this trail, a uh, paved path is rather an exception. So it kind of looks like that. more people coming and there are like people with really small children like that's interesting So I'm just wondering like how did we do that in the dark? It's like there's no rails. Uh, it's just going down from there. Interesting. So that was the part where we actually thought we lost the path. Because there's no real path here. There's uh, down there this it's dark, you barely recognize that. Hi, Ed. Yes. We are back. It's now 10 15 or so. So, all in all, like we came here at six, so four hours. Minus Was the time. Of yeah. Minus the time of being up there, stopping for recording. So yeah, it was a very active morning. Love it. Yes. I could do this every day. Oh really? Oh, really? Would you? Yes. Great. So happy that we did that in the morning. Now so there are many so many people. So many people. There are three food trucks or more. Uh, the whole parking is full. 
and yeah when we came back lots of people came towards us uh, and so all the peace nice. was gone it's nice to come if you can if you choose not to go early morning when it's dark which is totally understandable that wasn't that bad though no but uh, some people might not like it I, you know, I understand that part but if you want to come when it's a bit light it's better to come early like around seven right like when not e seven because every yeah, season six. will have a different uh, obviously time yeah whenever like shortly before the sunrise so yeah. like when it's like getting light um, so yeah it's getting hot it was really comfortable and it was nice and quiet now some some people like playing loud music which i don't walking understand <laughs> walking. watching with, walking with the boombox and uh, yeah it was really peaceful like we were literally the only ones on this on this uh, mountain and it's also the it's not that hot i think a little bit later it's going to be hot and there is no shade so yeah i would uh, definitely take this in consideration was yeah. it good morning good morning So that was the sunset. No, sorry. Sunrise. That was the sunrise. Sunrise. And see you in another place. <laughs> After our active morning to catch the sunrise at Ponto de São Lorenzo in the east side of the island, we are now at Miraduro de Fio in Ponto do Pargo on the west side of the island to enjoy the sunset. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.